Well, we're going to get a brief taste of some colder air on Saturday morning. A big drop compared to the very significant warmth of Friday morning for the East Coast, about a 25 to 35 degree drop for Saturday morning. But this big change is a short lived one. We're going to look a little farther down the line to find some persistent cold that may invade the Northeast uh, as we step into March. But the weekend after that, a quick splash of chill. We kind of bounce back as the flow flattens out here and you can see uh, it is really just a quick shot here as the cold invades on Friday night to Saturday and then it lifts where we stay chilly in the northernmost latitudes of the nation, but it won't be exceptionally cold anywhere. So most of next week as we ramp up into the final complete week of the month of February. Uh, again, we have some cold across the northern plains, the interior northwest and warmth farther south as uh, again, uh, things are going to be evolving uh, pretty quickly here across the west, but uh, we do have some snow potential that will expand across the northern plains and another disruptive storm brings another round of mainly rain to the I-95 unless you're up into Maine. So thunderstorm south soaking rain for much of the Ohio Valley and most of the northeast unless you're in the northern part of the region here uh, for the middle to latter part of next week. And then we look a little farther down the line. The final days of February still kind of holding on to cold in the northern uh, part of the Midwest, the northern plains and much of the west. It will be colder than average across a good chunk of the west. In fact, frequent rounds of big time rain and snow into the western U.S. in the second half of February. But we stay pretty mild, if not warm for late February in the mid-Atlantic and farther south. The pattern change likely rolls in in March as a big lobe of cold air from the Arctic will eventually push south and east. And we're going to be keeping an eye on this because this could set the table for uh, perhaps a few nor'easters that could bring the opportunity for snow uh, to some of these areas that haven't seen much at all along I-95, for example, into the final month of the traditional snow season. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out these other videos here and be sure to subscribe for new content and the latest weather news from AccuWeather.